Here we go, folks. New York's getting some relief. And then basically you got to look at the idea that Southern California Edison, and then there is Edison Electric in New York City also. So Southern California Edison Utility Company in New York is getting help. And basically everybody gets paid back. So basically I'm sure the government will end up getting paid for 69 vehicles getting transported. But, well, I don't know. We don't know. We'll know. Somebody will know. Either that or all the people that uh, will get free electricity for how long? I don't know. That's never going to happen. So anyway, at least they're getting help and get stuff back up faster. So government will pay the tab, so you'll end up paying it through your taxes. So maybe everybody get a discount everywhere in the country. Who knows? Type in Yellowstone graphs, and everybody's interested in what's going on with the seismic activity. So as you see, there's a bunch of search pages. A lot of people are typing in, looking for graphs in Yellowstone, and they're there. Here's the thumbnails. We'll come back to this in a minute. And here's your history, and we'll pump this up a little bit. I don't know how much we will try to 150, not to blow it up too much. But you'll see how basically Yellowstone has been heightening in activity for a long time, and that's what got everybody very concerned. As you can see, the years down here keeps going up and the data keeps going up and the activity keeps rising as you see the years come by and it's always heightened as you can see we're in the 2000 December of 2000 and so she keeps building and we know she's got to pop sometime so everybody's concerned everybody's watching we may have a long way to go hopefully but we keep an eye on it so We'll go over to the graphs, the data, 2008. So we keep on climbing. As you see, there's no decline. It keeps on heightening, 2010. And we're still at heightened activity right now. Then we've had some quakes there recently. And then, like I say, the New Madrid down East Coast area, that's what's concerned because that's very new activity out that way. So we can go ahead and we'll pop in the Madison River. See what we got going on for activity there. And I can pop back over, I think, to the graphs here and we'll get Norris Junction going. And then I'll pop back here and I'll get this one going. Mary Lake. And I'll get uh, what else we got? Pop this one in. And we'll pop in. That one and we'll pop in to the, this one. I got Mary Lake already. Let's pop back and get Mount Sheridan. We'll go over and we'll grab Denny Creek, Fort Butte, and We'll even look way out at Park Creek. Promontory. I don't know if I hit that one already. Oh, I already hit that one. Baker, I think I already hit that one. Big Butte. And. There's your sun, the latest sun shot. And as you see, there's stuff to the left they don't want you to see. And. Go to the, I popped over to the, to the data here and we'll see what we got for Quake, Albania. Other stuff's already on the map earlier. As you see, there's a 6.4 in Java, very large, and it increased. It's not decreasing, it's increasing to a 6.4 there. So, back to there we got Madison River. There's your activity there, and we'll just keep popping through these. And we can and we should be able to just do it that way. And there's your activity there. So, uh, just keep on sharing these sizes graphs of the Yellowstone. And you've already seen on my other video, I should be uploading that in a few minutes. What we got going on out in Washington area and also showing the quakes out in the New Madrid area. So, all this data 
is actual fact of what's going on. Pretty much self-explanatory. You got waves, you got electrical activity. Very interesting here, that's wild. So as you see, plenty of activity at Yellowstone. And every one plot is shaking a little bit different magnitudes, but plenty of activity. Of course, you it might be repetitive on one of them when I can cure it because I know I Parker Peak, but still showing it the idea that the needles are getting some activity, just no seismic activity. So that's nice to know about at least somewhat but still if it was to blow you'd have ash and molten lava there like crazy so anyway the graphs show building and everybody's looking at the graphs okay so this recent quake right there and you can see the time in the lower right hand corner and it is the first day hope everybody had a good trick or treat and as you can see all the quakes around the world and that's how much quakes we got going on. And as I see, I got the earth hollow, so you can see the quakes all over the world on the backside and everything. Lots of earthquakes. So, we pretty much see them all. Lots of seismic activity. So, where's the next eight going to be? That's anybody's guess. So, we just know that we've got a lot of activity. Watch the video before this one. And it'll show you there's lots of activity in Washington that connects up basically on, on all these fault lines along the West Coast area. And also what we got going on in New Madrid. Let me re-show some of the New Madrid stuff. Well, I guess basically what happened in New York is the cargo transport companies must have been pinching and gouging for a high rate. And then so the government took over and decided, you know, you're not going to pinch these electrical companies for such a high rate on moving equipment. That the government will do it. The taxpayers will pay for it. So we'll see who ends up paying for it. So here is your New Madrid action. Lots of action. And I showed in the earlier video that basically this is a new quake up here in Minnesota. And... Yeah, we were talking about New Jersey, New York area, the East Coast area. So, and there we go, 2.3 magnitude quake there in Minnesota. I showed it earlier, I believe. But the New Madrid area is what we're really interested in. Basically right here, and you got quakes going on on both sides. Okay, and it's all within the last 7, 14 days. One to three days on the yellow ones. And like I showed earlier, the, they had a higher quake here at Arkansas. And it's nice. There you go. 4.7 meg. And it was 3.8. I keep getting quakes. 3.9. So keep an eye on all that. And we'll go over and widen out the map. Save some take time. Whether you feel them or not, you are getting earthquakes, east coast, okay? You are getting earthquakes, okay? You're getting quakes, okay? Along with the west coast. And also you've seen what I showed in the tape before, watched the video before, all the activity here. And I just showed you what's going on in the Yellowstone activity, okay? Now our polar angle and solar winds coming and getting the CME that came off the sun a while back. We'll be picking up on activity. It's kind of calm right now on the grass. We'll see what we can find for activity coming down through here. You see over in Russia, has got some wild activity, but then they also have the radioactivity left over from Chernobyl, and then the Fuka fudge up is going to propagate to it. We got some action in Alaska. He had five point something the other day. A 
Why the one with the volcano activity over there, I'm sure. Norway shown so unusual. Because the idea they're usually very steady over there. But I mean steady colonists. So they've been getting in like I keep on noting they've had activity in there. Australia's got some action going on. So basically Sumatra in Indonesia already shook today, so Sumatra, Fiji, more than likely, with the Pacific Ocean showing its action along up through Alaska that we saw earlier. So and there you go, even in the middle of South Dakota, nice and calm, you get some activity there. And so we'll keep having a lot of shivering of the Earth's plates. And let me go show you that real fast. What's really inside the Earth? Okay. Finish going through the graphs. Indiana has got a little action right there to the right. Tennessee. Russia again showing a lot of action. Let's go to this. And this is what is BS here. Because basically all what happened is weather in your area may change different. The magnetics change. Earth will not flip. Okay. The magnetic will, but Earth won't flip, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody needs to calm down. Yes. We already knew that water once flew on Mars. They knew it the first time. So, anyway, it's just going to be magnetical. will we'll change. The Earth is not going to flip. So everybody needs to calm down. Let's go look at the inside of Earth. And here we go, folks. Remember, Saturn was up behind the sun, okay? We'll put it in our viewing options and put up all the object names again. And you can put their orbits in. And here we go. And here's Earth and Moon, and basically those objects are between us and the sun right here. And also, they could also be being illuminated, but you know that they have to be between the sun and Earth because if they were being illuminated back here by the sun, they wouldn't be able to hit over in Hawaii in the morning hour, okay, when the sun's up. So you know those objects are between sun and earth, okay. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and look in at earth. And remember earth right now, I got this on the slow play, but basically see how we are going between Neptune and Venus right now in our orbit, okay. See how we are right here. We're in between Neptune and Venus and Uranus in Venus right now very unusual spot for us and as you can see they don't show you as much material that's actually around in here they don't want to have you worried about what's here but let's go ahead and look at earth okay we'll explore earth we'll look at the structure of earth there you go basically over all these years that's our dead sun in the middle of earth Okay, that's where we get the volcanic activity and everything out of the bottom of Earth, okay? This is all the crap that's hit Earth between us dying out as a sun, because basically Earth was a, a sun at one time, a small one, a large one, who knows? But basically, that's down to the core of the inside of Earth there, okay? We have our atmospheres and our surface and our magnetic field, but basically, I'll show you real fast, it's not going to really change that much when you look at that. They're just going to show you a picture there and also on the magnetic field because basically our magnetic field is our atmosphere. Basically, Newton wasn't wrong, but the idea that the way that old style that we get taught from Newton, that everything, gravity is, everything that's got mass is going to drop. It's electrically, magnetically grounded. Basically, it will go to ground because there's a positive on the north, negative on the south. Everything will electrically go to ground. Okay, We are held to earth by a little bit of electrical current that's in our bodies, and we are magnetically clinged to the earth. Okay, That's why other places out in space and on other planets, if they don't have an atmosphere like earth has, you will, not, you will float in space. You will float in your atmosphere. Uh, there's lots of planets we could create this electrical. Basically, it needs oxygen uh, and other elements. That's why we need to go and plant plants on other moons that aren't really moons, like moon and Mercury is a moon. And we need to get some of the moons that are really small baby planets like Io on Jupiter and also at uh, green plants, horticulture on moons of Saturn.